Hello, my dear friends. My name is Paul and I'm at the radio call sign is Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. I'm currently in a wonderful area. It is really nice nature all around me here. And I'm currently on my way <clears throat> on the hill here in a beautiful village of Pisco Rauce. And um, today I'm going to test the a uh, new antenna from Chameleon, which I have here. The Chameleon offset dipole antenna today. So I plan to do a QRP operation with the Zygu X6100 transceiver and this offset dipole. I really hope that the propagation will be good enough to have a few nice contacts. And uh, keep the finger crossed and enjoy the video and especially the nature which is all around me. So keep watching. So I found the entrance into the forest where I have to go in. So a few minutes ahead of me to go into on top of the hill. And yes, of course, I, I, I didn't uh, forget on the Guangsheng UVK5, of course, the modded version. So I'm able also uh, to listen the uh, short wave bands and all those stuff, this stuff here on this tiny radio. Well, well, pretty steep is this road up to this hill and a little moody and dirty almost there guys and this is the whole antenna actually very beautiful pouch i like it all right almost there I found a few candidates for the tree uh, for my antenna so let me find one which should be the best I need uh, maybe four maybe five meter tall uh, tree for the wire I made my decision, so I choose this uh, birch tree and I believe this is a good candidate. There are a few branches which are maybe five meters up in the air so I can throw, throw the center uh, feet of the antenna up on the tree and then I could set the wires on the both sides from the three so let's go it's a little windy today so i hope that the sound is not very disturbed by the wind so let me show you what i uh, took with me so this is again the uh, uh, chameleon um, dipole offset dipole antenna everything is in the back i will show you in a minute then I have the Kuangsheng UVK5, which is the modded version of the uh, original Kuangsheng radios. 
I mainly use this radio for the VHF and UHF operations. And also finally here you can see the bug, which is uh, for my uh, uh, Zygu X6100 uh, transceiver. I have a battery and all the stuff what I need. So let me show you what is inside here. So this beautiful pouch is made of a very thick textile. And uh, here inside I printed the manual. Of course, uh, it's written in English. And as you can see, so many things are inside. Okay, so let me explain all of this stuff what I have here in the pouch. So here, the winder with uh, these uh, spikes or the ground spikes. Two, the ground spikes will be for the arms of the dipole. One arm and the second arm will be secured to the ground with the spikes. The third one is for the center, uh, the center, mm, the center pole or the, the feet of the antenna. I will secure it with the third spike right here. Also, I took with me uh, this mastrant rope. Uh, which is for the center feet um, because I need to throw this um, winder up to the tree uh, on some branch and uh, wind this uh, uh, rope down there and uh, lift up the center pole. This is the feed point of the antenna. And uh, here inside you can see the transformer and a BNC a female socket and uh, two terminals for the wire. This is made of the PCB or the PCB board. And here you can see the wing nuts so you can very easily to attach the wires on it. It's pretty small, smaller than my palm. In some cases I will need it, maybe. And here is the, is the feed line with uh, the RF choke on it, uh, possibly made of uh, ferrites. Both sides are attached the BNC uh, male uh, plugs. This is actually, as you can see here, it's the RG316 coaxial cable. Very lightweight. And finally here we have two antenna wires. slightly different in color. You can see this is more greenish and this is a little more to the brown. So this is the brownish, brownish is shorter and the greenish is longer. It is not a classic dipole, so the arms are different lengths. Every wire is ended with this needle and the second end is this attachment so this eye will be used to secure the wire on place on the ground it's actually very simple there's nothing more to say okay guys so let me throw up the uh, center pole of the antenna with this winder. I hope that I will be lucky. 
and the antenna will work. Okay, and the second thing what I have here is this is this uh, new bag. Sorry, it was my crunching radio right there. So here you can see what is inside this bag. C classic the Zygu 6100 the microphone and an extra battery which is 3 amp hour battery I'm using this battery for an extra power which is 10 watts with external uh, with external battery and the Zygu 6100 And I need to find the best spot where I can throw this thing up <laughs> on the tree. Yeah, the, the rope has to be free. No, this is very weak branch i need to find the best one and of course a little thicker okay again i was almost done i need more wire uh, i need more rope Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so up there is the fine branch and here I can put the uh, center fed of the antenna and lift it, lift it up. All right, so before I lift up this center support unit or a center fed I need to attach the wires here on these uh, wing nuts. So here I can I can attach the uh, shorter one. It is actually very simple. Yeah, that should be that should be cor correct installation. under the under the nut okay so this is the short wire and here we have the longer wire a needle is under under the nut okay and it's complete here into the middle i attached the uh, rope i have currently on my on the tree and i will lift it i will lift it up up on the air and to the bottom have to be connected this uh, feed line and the side of the feed line with RF choke that should be that should be fine a rope is attached to the center pole and here we can see the second part of the rope so one side up and other side down so i can lift the antenna up on the tree
Okay, it is over there. You can see the wire on the left and on the right side. I need to spread and secure to the ground. Um, honestly, I would, I would like more to have um, different color of the wires because it is really stealthy and mm, sometimes really a problem to find it in the grass on the, on the, on the ground. So the first spike for the center post. As you can see that left over of the rope, I put back on the winder and secure it with here uh, on this plastic. So everything is perfect and the rope is steady. Okay, this is the first end of the wire. This is the shorter wire actually. Um, it is recommended to use uh, some length of the extra rope uh, to have not so close the wire to the ground. I'm going to test the antenna when this end of the wire will be close to the ground, as you can see. This spike will be not fully attached to the ground, so I hope that it will work, at least so. And this is the third spike for the second end of the antenna, for the second arm. Uh, this arm is actually the longer one. So, as you, as you can see, this wire is lined up on the second tree on the branch and then is going down to the uh, third ground spike. So as you can see that the offset dipole from Chameleon is, is very stealthy antenna. That is the second one, the, the second arm, center post with the feed line and the longer one. So it is really very visible here in the nature and this surrounding. So now let me go back to the uh, feed line and take the Zaigu transceiver and measure the SWR. And voila, <laughs> I see a nice signals on 20 meters. So here you can see the diagram, what should be installed. And as you can see that the longer, uh, sorry, the shorter and the longer on the tree and the feed line down. It is also 25 feet. Uh, I'm not sure if I have 25 feet. This antenna should work from 40 meter to 10 meter and 6 meter. They say that the OCF 40 antenna works without the tuner on 40, 20, 10 and 6 meter band. Of course, if we would like to do on the WARC bands or little off the main bands like 15 meters, we need to use uh, the uh, automatic tuner in the radio. But I will see how it works here on the main bands. This is the main thing, what I need to check. All right, guys, so as the first, we will check 40 meter band and the SWR, the radio is switched to the SWR scan mode. And uh, let's look at the SWR. As you can, the SWR is pretty good on these uh, 40 meter band is under 1.5 
an increase with the frequency below 200, 7200. This is our portion of the band, and you can see that it, also, it is very close to the 1.1. So definitely 40 meters works perfectly on this antenna. And now we are on 20 meters. I go down to frequency 150 and measure the SWR. It is around two, two and a half, but we are off the frequency of the band. Uh, within the band, uh, which means up to 14,350, we are maximum on 2.5 SWR. On the beginning of the band, it is below two. Uh, keep in mind that the antenna is very close to the ground. It is not ideal installation in my case. For sure, it's much better to find a taller uh, tree and um, put the antenna a little more above the ground than, than me. So I'm on a 10 meter band and check SWR here. So as you can see that in the middle of the 10 meter band, it's 2.5. SWR and uh, maximum was not even three. And this is also very interesting. We have a six meter band and we can use also the antenna on 50 megahertz. So as you can see, the SWR on six meter band is on two. And let me check the WARC bands, how it looks like over there. So, 30 meter band and WARC is around 3, so 3 is currently for the automatic tuner. And uh, 17 meter band exceeding 3, so definitely here I have to use a tuner. Uh, 15 meter band, this is not WARC, but it's uh, not in the manual. So it is in manual, but only with a tuner. So let me check. Yeah, it is also around three. A 12 meter band. Also close to three. Maybe someone will be asking uh, for CB band. So let me check the CB band. Uh, 27555 maybe. The uh, free band, some say it like a CB band. Is it not? <laughs> well, 1.2 or two. So I could be, um, it could be usable for a CB band as well. That is really interesting. There is 1.5 and, and uh, a little more. Well, I'm running five watts only, but I have connected also the external battery. So I'm going to increase the power to 10 watts. So now I have 10 watts power and the chameleon offset dipole antenna. Hello CQ, 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 Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango listening. Yeah, I need to use the tuner. Nice. Hello CQ, 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 Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, QRP, Portable. Mike 7, Whiskey, Lima Golf. Mike 7, Whiskey, Lima Golf, Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, nice to meet you, go ahead. Hi Paul, I have you a bit, a 2 and a 2, 2-2, two, two. very, very weak signal to me, I can just about hear you, mm -hmm. um, but I'll be going back to the YouTube video to see how this conversation went over. Okay, many thanks uh, for the short contact and for signal report. 
73. Have a nice day. Bye bye. India Uniform 8 Echo Papa Delta QRP Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango QRP How do you copy? Uh, let me change uh, the band to 40 meters, okay? I hope that I will find something clear. Oh gosh, books everywhere. Is this frequency in use, please? Is anybody on the frequency, please? CQ, CQ 40 meters, CQ 40 meters, CQ, CQ 40 meters, CQ 40, Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, calling CQ on 40 and listening. Hey. Hello, my dear friend. Uh, Alpha Echo One uh, Tango Papa, do you copy? Roger, Roger. Dr. Necton, Paul, you're five and five, five and five into North Central Bulgaria this evening. Five and five, a little bit of QR Mary on this end. I'll send up the street, all the best, and thank you for picking up the call. All right, thank you very much, Tom73. This is Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, portable, calling and listening. All right, I'm going back to the uh, upper bands. I'm going to 10 meters for now. Is anybody here on the frequency? Hello, CQ, CQ 10 meters. Hello CQ 10 meters, CQ 10 meters, Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, QRP, CQ on 10 meters and listening. Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, QRP. Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, QRP. Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, QRP. Well, 10, 10 meters is not really good for now. Okay, 17. Ranges of movement, and that's what it's all about. So you can still hit all the major muscle groups, you know, your pecs, major, minor, your, your back. It's the same you can't do that rather unorthodox trick. Okay, my favorite frequency one one three. Okay. Whoa.
Is the frequency in use, please? Is this frequency in use? Okay, let's try 17 meters. CQ, CQ on 17, CQ on 17. I am Oscar, Mike Zero, Echo, Tango, QRP, Portable. Mike Whiskey 7, Oscar Foxtrot Sierra, Oscar Mike Zero, Echo Tango, QRP Portable. How do you copy? Okay, Paul, no problem. Yeah, uh, you're about a signal, uh, two and a radio four. Okay, Paul, um, yeah, I'm going to be in the uh, 16 watch, on a 16 watch with a Marconi Stealth Loop. Um, it's okay, but it's not brilliant, uh, QSL. Oscar, Mike Zero, Echo Tango, QRP Portable on 14333, calling and listening. Uh, Italy, Uniform Zero, Oscar, x Queen. Yes, hello Paul, uh, nice to meet you again uh, in this afternoon. Uh, you are 5 and 5, uh, 55 in my homemade uh, M17, uh, from this side 100 watts, from ICOM IC7300. Uh, Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango, are you zero or SQ? Yes, thank you very much. I put you on the cluster, uh, dear Paul. Ciao, grazie. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango, QRP Portable. Lima, Zulu, Juan, Italy, November, Papa. Roger, Roger, Roger. Uh, five, three, five, four to you. Okay, thank you for 5354. You are 5 and 9, okay? You are 5 and 9. I am a QRP station, over. Okay guys, so this was the Chameleon offset dipole antenna, the Zygu X6100 radio. I'm using this tripod for it and an external battery, light pole battery, 3000 milliamp hour battery. It is very small and it fits into the uh, pocket. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, video. All the links you need you will find in the video description. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. I wish you 73 and have a nice day from these beautiful surroundings.